And joining us now, Morgan and Jennifer, in studio all the way from Florida in mm -hmm. Illinois. <laughs> hey, ladies, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, thanks for having us. <laughs> oh, look at you guys. <laughs> 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 now, we can't answer every question like that, okay? We've got to, right. One at a time. But we're really excited because you guys write the blogs and all that. Uh, tell us about the Not Alone series. How, how did that happen? What is it? What is Not Alone? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we connected through our own personal blogs. So we each mm -hmm. had our own separate <laughs> blogs and got to know each other through that. And in talking to each other, we realized we had a lot in common. And one of those things is that we are currently single and not living the vocation we feel called to. Um, and so we started looking around, seeing if there were other people like that, and there really wasn't that niche of people being ministered to. Mm -hmm. So we decided, well, why not just start something of our own? Right. So we did, and that's how the Now Alone series uh, got started. Yeah. Um, so do you want to explain what it is, <laughs> what we sure. do? Sure, I mean, it's, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> sure. That way, Morgan, Jen, yeah. No? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's a, it's a great community of women who come together every week, and we um, write on anything and everything related to singleness and living our lives um, of faith, you know, just trying to live a life of holiness and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's fun. We have a great group of women that kind of meet regularly, um, and yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> talk, talk about that too, um, you know, and the importance of having something like that now. Uh, you know, in college is a lot of social networks and, and there's a, a lot of availability, yeah. but when now you're out in the workforce and uh, how, uh, you know, what was the transition like, I guess, and, and how important <laughs> is it to have something like this? Yeah, for, for me, <laughs> I mean, it's hard. I mean, you're in college and you have everything there for you, right? You have your community, your friends, you have everything and all of a sudden it's, like gone so you know you have to learn to navigate you can't take a class on that and so um, I think it's very it's very easy to feel alone mm -hmm. and so then on top of that to to be discerning your vocation and trying to figure out what what you're supposed to be doing what God's will is for you mm -hmm. and I think that's you know why we decided you know why we became close and why mm -hmm. we decided to start the series and yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what's interesting to me too is is when you talk about vocation, mm -hmm. to marriage, right, um, or religious life, or religious Depending. life. There's right. a, well, but there's different vocations. Right. A lot of people don't sure. realize that that, that there are vocations. It's, when you say vocation, people usually think it's a religious life. Sure. But, right. But I think what people don't realize um, a lot of the times is that there are a lot of single. Now we're talking about women. But there are a lot of single men too out there. Mm -hmm. And you're right. Sometimes you finish college, you're out there. And and now what? And I think people can feel alone. That's okay. why I love right. the, I love the title of that. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you can be in a room with with a thousand people, and you can still feel alone. Yes. Sure. Um, and you can feel that there's maybe something wrong with you. Like why right. am I why yes. am I alone? So our tagline is that it's the Not Alone series. Mm -hmm. You're not broken. You're not lost. You're not mm -hmm. left behind. Yeah. Were you shocked at the <laughs> amount of people though that that there are out there who are searching for really the same thing? You ladies were searching, and so many other thoughts. Mm -hmm. For sure. Blown away. Yeah. Totally blown away. <laughs> I, I mean, mean, it's it's so easy to feel <laughs> alone. So then you're like, I'm the only one. There's right. no one else. Mm -hmm. You know, when we started this, we we have our we keep saying we had high hopes but low expectations, and so <laughs> <laughs> we um, really better way to better way <laughs> to get into it. <laughs> right. We were hoping for at least one more person to feel like they were not alone, and we've grown. I mean, we have. A, I mean, it's a small in the grand big grand scheme of things yeah. but you know it's we have a like, group of women about 15 that participate every week um, we have a Facebook group that keeps growing and growing and a little over 50 yeah I mean it's now, yeah. international too I mean it's like this is, happens all over the world it's not just here <laughs> yeah. so it's a it's pretty awesome it's we're so it's blessed. been a huge blessing in our lives yeah. and we're just so glad it's been a blessing in other mm -hmm. people's as well yeah. what are some of the topics that uh, you guys cover or that come up most of the time? Uh, oh is there a sure. sure. Well, <laughs> um, <laughs> discernment for sure, sure. prayer. Sure. Um, we also talk about you know, dating. Ta yeah, yeah, tangible things, dating. Like Online dating, your tips? you know, all, exactly. everything, you know, chastity, um, just how to live your life that is, you know, in line with what the God's will is mm -hmm. and, and how to keep going and being encouraged and whatnot. Is that difficult too when you put that caveat about God's will? Uh, mm. Does that sometimes change the discussion with people? <sighs> Occasionally. I think, so. I think we, we really aim to live our lives in that way, mm. to always seek His will over our own. Um, and so in helping other people talk about that, um, sometimes it does 
shift our focus. You know, a lot of times we can be very focused on what do I right. want, where are we going? Mm -hmm. But then you think, oh, God has a plan too. Maybe I should let him on in, <laughs> in on this discussion. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think it's been a blessing for people to kind of be able to shift their focus and say, sure. oh, maybe maybe God has something better for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. What are some of the things that you're learning? How, how, how long has this been, but like a year a or something? Yeah, year. yeah. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you ha have learned uh, during the course of that uh, year and uh, as you look towards <laughs> the future? <laughs> you know, I think really to live in the now, um, to not, to not be so worried about what I'm supposed to be doing in the future. What, if I'm supposed to be here, where is my husband, you know? Where I think, is he? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's out there, um, <laughs> <We're waiting>. um, <laughs> So, you know, but I think really to, to live in the now and to be present to, mm -hmm. to God now and to our family and to our friends and to our work and, and just yeah. really diving in and, and to enjoy the now. There's so much good that we could be passing by just because we're so focused on, you know, looking forward to the future. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, really enjoying this. And I think I've learned about myself, actually, don't hate being single all the time. Right. And so being able to live in the now has, has allowed me to um, to really embrace that. Yeah, for and sure. And where can people learn more? People want to know about it. What do they do? Yeah. Sure. Well, well, both of our blogs um, have different tabs. So mine, you can search follow and believe. Mm -hmm. um, and Or mine is jumping in puddles. You could search that. Or you could search the Not Alone series on Google or whatnot. You can jumping find it out. Jumping in puddles. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. <laughs> That's different. Yes. That's thank different. you. <laughs> well, ladies, thanks so much for being with us today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for All the way from Florida, Illinois. Yeah. Very much appreciated. <laughs>